We are proud to be Singaporeans and we love our country. However, these days, our country doesn't quite feel like our home anymore. I'm pathetic about current affairs because they feel that whatever the government says is the only way. Isn't there another way of doing things? My social studies book says that our country's leaders are very good and they did everything right. But when I read the internet, things are not quite the same. I see many poor people around me. Why doesn't our country love these people and take care of them too? They are also Singaporeans just like me. Residents, citizens of Singapore, you have a choice. You, as a citizen of Singapore, can choose to hold the incumbent government accountable for the policies it has implemented. You, as a citizen of Singapore, can push for greater transparency of information. You, as a citizen of Singapore, deserve to be engaged. Your voices deserve to be heard. And we can promise you that we will address them. We will hear what you have to say. So come the 7th of May, please choose wisely. Please cast a vote for the NSP and play a part in creating Singapore's future. You have the power to decide. Thank you. people, by the people, for the people, which is, takes into account people's views, people's feelings. This is the of May. Come, seven of you, you vote workers' party and move towards the first world parliament. Thank you. I am not actually a brain man, but I love the people, I love the people. Success, freedom and justice can come only if all of us, male and female, young and old, rich and poor, stand up and be counted. Stand up, my fellow Singaporeans. Stand up for your rights, for yourselves, for your country.
securing our future together. This is the slogan used by the PAP in this election. As voters, as Singaporeans, you should ask the PAP, whose future are you talking about? <laughs> whose future are you talking about? Take that what is ours. Wake up to your rights. Wake up to our rights. And I'm going to ask the same question that I asked the Honourable Senior Minister. Go to you. What are we defending? The answer to me is clear. I am defending you. It is wrong for Mr. Lee Kuan Yew to say that Singapore are, last, are less hard driving and hard striving when all of us are in fact working like mad to get a decent monthly income. Isn't that contributing to the Singapore economy too? Come May 7, you will be casting your sacred vote. PAP always say, vote wisely. Indeed, vote wisely. For the next five years, you are not voting for the next five years. You are voting for the future. For the next 50 years, we are not going to give them another 55 years of PV single party rule. It's not easy to be in the opposition. The government always says to people, you know, they say, Oh, uh, you know, all these people in the opposition, they want to uh, have fame, they want to have money. Hello, if I wanted fame and money, I would have joined the PAP, okay? Yeah.